In problem number five of section 4.3, we find the general solution to the separable uh, differential equation written on the board here. Now, of course, the first step is to, in solving a separable differential equation, is to separate the variables. So let's put everything with a w on the left-hand side. So we have uh, dw over tangent of w. And then now let's put everything with a, D, or with a t or dt on the right-hand side. So that leaves us with t e to the minus t squared dt. Now, we just integrate both sides here, on the left with respect to w and on the right with respect to t. Now, on the left, this is just equal to the integral of well, 1 over tangent is cotangent, which is the same as cosine of w over sine of w dw. Now, of course, if you know off the top of your head what the uh, antiderivative for the cotangent is, you're welcome to use that. But if you don't, the easiest way is just to use u substitution here. So we let u equals sine of w. That means that du will be cosine w dw. And we can rewrite this integral as the integral of, well, here we have cosine dw. So that's just du. And u is equal to sine w. So this integral is just natural log of the absolute value of u, which is sine of w. And of course, plus c, but we'll just add the constant on one side once we evaluate uh, this integral. OK, now here again, we want to use u substitution. So just to make things less confusing, rather than using u, since we already did substitution over here, I'm just going to use the variable v. Uh, again, just to clarify things, we're not doing integration by parts here. This is substitution, just using a different variable since u is already taken. Uh, now let's let v equal negative uh, t squared. So now v is negative t squared, dv is negative 2t dt. And now we can write this, uh, well, we can divide by negative 2 on both sides. And that leaves us with integral of, well here we have um, negative dv over 2 is equal to t dt, so negative 1 half dv. And v is equal to negative t squared, so this is e to the v. Which, now this integral is negative 1 half e to the v. And now let's add a constant here. So if we collect all these terms together and write it out a little bit more succinctly, we get the natural log of the absolute value of sine of w is equal to minus 1 half e to the v, which is negative t squared plus c. Of course, if we just uh, apply exponential function to both sides, find that um, sine of w is equal to e to the negative 0.5 e to the negative t squared uh, plus c. But now we could write that um, as e to the c times e to the negative 0.5 e to the negative t squared. But if you look here, e to the c is just a constant. So rather than writing e to the c, let's just rename our constant c. And also the reason that uh, I can uh, take away the absolute value sign here is because exponential function is always going to be positive, so I don't really need to worry about it there. All right, so 
The last step to solve for w then is just to apply the inverse sign to both sides. Here we have w uh, is equal to inverse sine of c times e to the negative 0.5 e to the t squared as the general solution to the original differential equation.